Before I get into individual polishes, I thought I would show you guys just a look at where I'm storing my polishes. This is a, a spice rack and I've used it before for seasonal polishes. I think it holds about 60 polishes, give, give or take. I don't know, I, I forgot to count them. I bought this for like 10 bucks at a TJ Maxx and then just uh, spray painted it gold. I haven't decided just yet where I'm gonna put any of my nail polish, my nail polish racks, including my seasonal polishes. Um, so as of right now, it's just sitting on top of my desk where I paint my nails, which is really convenient because I could just reach over and pull whatever polish I want to use. Starting off with Roxy from Zoya. This one has a raspberry jelly base and metallic glitters. From Salon Perfect, I have Far Away Galaxy. This is a really nice mix of gold and blurple glitters and it does dry textured. Emily Damali's Edge of Your Seat. This one along with another Emily Damali, which I'll mention in just a moment, were gifted to me from, uh, from V. So this one has a blurple jelly base. It also has micro holographic flakies, and it has that strong red shimmer. I featured this one in my recent Paint Your Nails With Me video. And although you can see the red shimmer quite a bit, it doesn't come off quite as strong as you're seeing on camera. Sparkle On from China Glaze is a red jelly base with metallic glitters. Kind of a, a murky, swampy green. Uh, this one is from Dermalect and it's called Ver Verdure. I want to say it's Verdure. I'm going to leave the names of all of these polishes down below. From Painted Polish, this is called Blankets and Bonfires and the base of this is more of a dusty purple and then it has multi-shifting flakies as well. Um, so you see a little bit of gold, uh, orange, and a little bit of red. This one is an old one. It's from Maybelline, when Maybelline used to make polishes uh, quite a bit ago now. It's part of the Color Show line. It has a black base and then green, golden, I'm gonna call them micro glitters. Let's call them micro glitters, shall we? And it's called a Twilight Rays. Sample Sizing Me Up from China Glaze. This is, uh, I fell in love with this polish last year and it's just become a staple for me. This is one that I, I'd been wanting since it came out, but I could never find it. And apparently I had to move to Texas to find it because this is where I found it. So this one is from Sally Hansen and it's part of the Miracle Gel line and it's called Hue There with question mark. The base is uh, more charcoaly, kind of like you see here. And it has a ton, look at that, a ton of holographic shimmers. This fall season, I was really in the mood for more of a slate gray. It's coming off a little bit more like a heather gray on camera. It's a tad bit deeper. This, this one is from Defy and Inspire, and it's called Gauntlet. This one's a good one, guys. The formula is impeccable on this one. It's from Pure Eyes. This is a teal that I pulled out this year. It's a little bit more blue-leaning, uh, and it's called uh, uh, Teal Appeal. Yeah, it's called Teal Appeal. Complimentary Wine from OPI. This is part of their fall collection for this year. This is one of two polishes that I picked up from that collection. You'll see the other one in just a second. So this one has more of a jelly base. Do you see that? It just looks so decadent. Look at that. It's beautiful. Uh, because it has a jelly base though, it does require three coats. Another one that has a bit more of a jelly formulation is NARS Jungle Red. This is my sexy red for this season. And apparently I'm into the reds this season. I don't know. This is from OPI and it's DS Indulgence. And it has a very strong yellow gold shimmer as well as some red shimmers running through it. It's really beautiful. But the base is a little bit transparent which is what allows um, all of those little shimmers to shine through. This kind of polish glows off of the nails. Look at that. It's beautiful. Some of my favorite polishes to wear for fall and the winter, and especially for the toes, not just as manicures, but especially for the toes, are berry polishes. This is Berry Naughty from Essie, and it's one of my all-time favorite Essies. I love this. From Zoya, I have Lacey. This one has more of a pale sage green base. 
with a gold shimmer and a teal shimmer or a green shimmer i can't really tell i've never let me get oh my god my arm is tired okay let me get here maybe you guys can see it there this one was a gift to me from joy and i've been saving it because i wanted to wear it this fall season Another one that was gifted to me from Joy is this one from Indie Angel and it's called Elle Woods. I love the fact that it's called Elle Woods. Let's get there. Look at how pretty that is. So this one has a raspberry jelly base and holographic shimmers. Another one that was gifted to me from Joy is this one from Formula X and it's called Borealis. This is one of uh, quite a few ugly pretty colors that I have on this rack. I freaking love this. This is so pretty. I have not worn it yet, but what I love is that it has this fine teal shimmer running through it. Now, when I opened up my package, I immediately thought of Wallace. So I did pull out Wallace because I wanted to compare them because they're not the same at all. At all. I was way off. Wallace is definitely more golden. I'm giving Wallace a break this year because I really wanted to show this guy some love. And the only mustard yellow that I pulled out is this little guy from Pretty Wicked Cosmetics. It's now, I think, the second year because I wanted, I wanted to finish it out last year. And I did not do that, so I thought I would finish it out this year. Uh, this little guy is halfway through. I want to say it's called Mustard. Um, I checked online, but they don't have this particular polish available anymore. Another one from Colores de Carol. This one is called Pumpkin to Talk About. And it has a very reddish burnt orange color. <laughs> and it has a very fine purple shimmer along with, it looks like black shards and shifting flakies. I'm struggling in describing this polish. It looks really pretty, okay? Here today, Aragon Tomorrow. This is a black and green from OPI. Amityville from Colores de Carol. I purchased three polishes, I think from, I think they're all from the fall collection and then three from the Halloween collection. This is part of the Halloween collection and this one is a white curly. The other one that V so graciously sent me is called Enjoy the Fall. This one has a kind of pukey green base. It's the best way I could describe that. And then it has holographic shimmers as well as multi-shifting flakies. Look at how many. I don't know if it's going to capture it. Look at that. Look at that. Another one from Colores de Carol, and this one is called Camp Crystal Lake. On her website, it's described as a thermal. I did not experience the thermal effect, but I did experience that shifting effect from purple to like a blue-green, teal something, and then it has the flakies. This is super beautiful. It's called Camp Crystal Lake. I don't know if I mentioned that. This would not be a fall seasonal rack video if I did not mention China Glaze, Don't Let the Dead Bite. This is my backup, and I am hoping to be able to find more backups before I finish this guy. So this one has more of a pinky, fleshy toned base and some red metallic glitters. Oh my god, my arm! My arms are hurt! Okay. Elm Street from Colores de Carol. This one looks very red in the bottle and it does show up looking that way on the nails, but and even on the, her website, it says that this is more of a burnt orange and it is, it's a burnt orange, but as you continue to layer, it ends up looking like a garnet color, like this color right here. And then you see all of those shifting flakies. Do you guys remember when everybody went crazy with never a dullest moment from OPI? Because I sure do. This was like my mustard yellow because it's the closest I could find um, from a mainstream that was mustard leaning. Painted Polish Squash and Sleet is a very unique polish in my opinion. I love the color combination of the base of this and the little blue foils. Now the base, okay, the base is like a squash color, but it's it's very unique. It's kind of brown, but pink, 
but a little bit orange and then the foilies that are in here in the bottle they slightly lean a little purple and that's not something that I capture on the nails but quite frankly I don't really care because I love the color combo of the base and the little blue foils I think they look really beautiful I currently have this little guy on my toenails right now it's so beautiful I remember when I reviewed this collection I, I want to say it was earlier this year I can't remember anymore but this one is called glow baby and I remember when I did the review how I mentioned that it, it surprised me how much I enjoyed it first of all because I'm not into colors like this but this is more of like my my a mannequin hands nail polish but with a tad bit of shimmer if that makes sense because it has a bit of a, a golden shimmer running through it as well it's so beautiful I love it as a pedicure as well by the way I'm, I'm wearing it on, on my toes right now I don't know if I mentioned that from China Glaze, I have Scent Hues. The base of this is more like a purpley taupe, and then it has copper, uh, there, copper shimmers running through it. B Plus from 90 Lacquer has a red jelly base and some metallic glitters as well as some matte black glitters. Everybody needs this polish, guys. Every, everybody, if I did a top 10 video, this will be in it. I'll share with you guys my top favorites at the end of this video actually I think I'm gonna do that uh, because this is amazing I think everybody should own one bottle of this plus a backup plus a backup to your backup okay Canyon clay from Orly which is a brown mmm a red leaning brown I'm gonna say that a red leaning brown I'm either placing my bo pop bottles back in the wrong place I'm not really sure but <laughs> but I I'm going down the line and this one popped up. Okay, this is Sweetie Pie from Colores de Carol. The base of this is a squash color, so it's a little yellow, it's a little orange, and then it has multi-shifting flakies that the camera is not picking up at all. Plus, it also has some, it looks like reddish brown uh, smaller glitters. You can see the little specks. Those little specks right there, like reddish brown glitters. Hide and Eek from KB Shimmer. This one's a white curly and it has multicolored glitter. So I see a little bit of black, orange, uh, I think I see purple, and neon yellow. From RX Los Angeles, this is Labradorite. I want to say that's a stone. I want to say that it is. So this one, it looks like it has a charcoal base and blue teal shimmers I'm not really sure I've never worn this guy before so I'll have to let you guys know in a later video taxi hopping from the Essie Expressi line this is a polish that threw me off because I came across this line at Ulta and the reason why I picked it up is because it, it did look a little peachy but it looked a little bit more like a butternut squash color and so I thought it was gonna look more like a butternut squash color, but it ended up looking very peachy on my nails. Um, and the name says it all. It's called Just Peachy, which is, you know, duh. So it's from the brand Nail Nailtopia. It's not a brand that I'd ever um, seen at Ulta, so I thought I'd pick it up just to check out the brand. Riveting from China Glaze, and this one has an orange base and a very strong gold shimmer. OPI's Russian Navy. I Carol About You from OPI. And this one has that light kind of pink purple shimmer running through it that is visible on the nails. A little fun topper I haven't pulled in a really long time. This one's from Milani and it's called Twinkle. It's called Twinkle. Nordic Lights from CND. This was a gift to me from Joy. And this one has a plum jelly base, some silver metallic glitters, but then it has also shifting glitters in here. This is very interesting to me. It's kind of unique for mm, kind of like a, a drugstore brand, I guess you can say, because the, the, the little shifting glitters it's not a lot of them that get on your nails, but when the light hits it, you see the little glimpses of all the shifting colors on your nails. And I, I thought this was really beautiful. I think it took two to three coats for this guy. Another dusty purple, but this one has gold flakies. And this is the oh so 
beloved Grindelwald from Polish. V sent this one to me and I'm also very thankful. I have very generous friends, I have very kind friends and I'm super grateful for all of them. So anyway, she sent this one to me. This one is called Hanging With My Grill. <laughs> My grill, friends. <laughs> from KB Shiver. I think this is a topper. I don't know. I've never worn this guy before. V sent it to me along with the two Emily Damalis because it looks like it loads up quite a bit. Look at that. But I'm gonna say this is a topper and possibly I can get this guy opaque on its own which will be super awesome because look at all of those colors. Another one from KB Shimmer. This one is called Leaf of Faith. This one is another one that has that jelly base. I think I'm into the jelly base. I don't have a lot of variety of colors in here. I think I'm really feeling a lot of my reds and oranges and a lot of my polishes that have jelly bases, uh, which is why <laughs> you're seeing quite a few of them in this video. Uh, so anyways, this one has a jelly base and then it has multiple sized hex glitters. From 90 Lacquer, I have Singer Auto Salvage. Another one from 90 Lacquer is Decay. Got this little fella last year and finally got to put it on this year. I think it's so beautiful. You guys will see a swatch picture of this guy. Someone asked me on Instagram what the difference is between uh, Decay and Singer Auto. They are not the same guys, very different. They're both kind of like that ugly, pretty green color, but different. I feel like 90's um, Singer Auto is a little bit deeper. Uh, Decay is, a, is also deep, you can see that, but it leans a little bit more brown and even a little bit more yellow, especially paired up to Singer Auto. My Italian is a little rusty from OPI. This is a burnt orange. I ended up picking up the one from the Infinite Shine line because I could not find the one in the Radiator line. So I'm just hoping that there's no color variation between the two lines. Another burnt orange, but that leans a little bit more on the red side, especially compared to my Italian. This guy is called a blazing from Sally Hansen and it has a strong gold shimmer. A fun little topper from Sally Hansen. This is part of the diamond strength line. It's called I'll Be There. And this one is one of those unicorn P. Mm. Unicorn P toppers. Retrograde from Orly and this one leans a little blue a little green it has that purple little flash That's slightly noticeable on on the nails. It's not a strong purple shimmer, but you can see it in certain lights Is this the last one? I think this is the last one. This is from Essie and it's called calf tan mm. There Lastly, I'm going to share with you guys some of my favorite polishes and I'm basing my decision on polishes that I've worn more than once, more than twice, more than three times. These are polishes that I'm happy to pull out every fall or even winter season, really. I love these. So first up is Sample Sizing Me Up from China Glaze. Love this guy. Retrograde from Orly, another good one because it just looks like a beetle. It's just so pretty to look at. I love it. Uh, Don't Let the Dead Bite from China Glaze. This is an all-time favorite. The thing with this one is that it's hard to find. Frickin' A. It tortures me. Singer Auto from 90 Lacquer is, I would consider this a freaking classic, man. This is an amazing polish. It's so good. Another classic for me is Zoya, uh, Zoya's Roxy. I love this guy. Berry Naughty from Essie. I love this on the toes. This, is, this can stay on my toes all fall season, all winter season, really. I love it. B Plus. I mean, I don't think I need to say more. This is so Stinking beautiful. I love it. Here today, Aragon tomorrow, a black and green. Could never go wrong. A really good deep purple, but it's not so deep that it, it looks black. This always looks purple on your nails. I care all about you from OPI. Plus that little shimmer, so pretty. And then another one from OPI. This is Russian Navy. Freaking classic. I love this polish. And never a dullest moment. This is just a really good yellow. It's not too sunshiny, but it's not too mustard. It's just right in between. I think it's great. So that's everything, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.